Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about the review for Wolves vs Southampton. Um, first thing I'm going to say is that I'm going to have to talk a lot about the reaction of the game. Because I've saw a lot of stupid shit from Southampton fans complaining about this, then the third, complaining about players, complaining about Ralph. <sighs> you just got to take a fucking chill pill and relax. It's one game. There's fucking, what, 33, 32, how many games left? Plenty of games for us to improve. Like, I don't get this idea that we're suddenly finished. We're now shit again. It's last year again. It's it's not at all. And I'll fucking explain why. So I'll just start off by telling you my genuine thoughts on the game. I thought we played quite well. Obviously, we could have played a bit better. Maybe could have been different in a few aspects. But I think overall, we played pretty well. And again... Yes, a lot of the complaints are, oh, again, we're playing against a team that hasn't won yet, they're struggling, yada, 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 oh, and we lose, blah, blah. Relax, take a second, Wolves have some fucking outstanding players. Absolute outstanding, they have Neves, for example, who's fucking class. They have Pedro Neto, who rinse Perot all game. They have quality players. That doesn't mean that we should just walk over them just because they're struggling. We should just win 6-0. That's not football. People can turn up. Neves can have a, have a bad start, then turn up. It's how it happens. Form happens. Sometimes the team's playing shit, then they turn up. And I wouldn't say Wolves turned up, but they didn't play bad. They counted us very well. They actually counted us extremely well. I don't think anyone's counted us that well before. They genuinely were constantly opening us up. Now, for once, Southampton fans need to realise... If you lose, it doesn't mean that we played shit or we did things stupidly or we didn't do this or that. Sometimes you can praise the opposition for playing well. Wolves counted well. They defended well. What more do you want? We aren't Man City. We aren't Liverpool. Losing a game isn't that deep. Now, if we lost six in a trot, that's a different story, but we're not. And if you don't believe that, then you've got an issue. Southampton this season are nowhere near the same team as we were last season. And if you can't see that, I don't I don't know what to tell you. Really, really, like, it's so obvious. The performances are vastly better. The results are vastly better. Like, what do you want? What do Saints fans want? The window was spectacular, but yet you're crying about a striker. Okay, we didn't get a striker in. whoop de doo da Shit happens. We had targets. We couldn't get them. Fine. The guy, one of the guys we were targeting from Stuttgart, from Wolves, just did an ACL again. You have to find players that fit the culture, fit the system, and have good fitness because we play high intensity. They're not easy to find, and especially considering we're trying to find someone who's good. Again, not easy to find. So I don't want to hear any complaints about that shit. The transfer window was class. We're playing well. We lost. Big deal. It's a frustrating loss. I agree. We could have won. We could have at least. We should have at least got a point. Fine. But we lost. Shit happens. We will win games where we don't deserve to win. We will draw games, we don't deserve to draw. Shit will happen. So we just need to accept that and then move on. But what I would say is that some of the criticism that's been happening from Saints fans is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. People criticising Bazunu already. Tell me what he's had to do. We've conceded goals that aren't his fault. None of the goals that I can think of Tom are any of his fault. The goal against Wolves, if you're seriously complaining about Bazunu, then you've got fucking issues. How is that possibly his fault? Potence. Literally, not one defender anywhere near him, and that's his fault for not saving it. It was a shit shot. How was he supposed to expect Potence to fuck it up? Tell me that. He shot the ball that Bazunu's expecting to be decently hit, and he's completely scuffed it and it's bobbled in. What do you expect him to do? He's not a fucking mind reader. He's not a wizard. He can't expect, oh, he's going to fuck this shot up and it's going to actually bobble next to me. Sort it out. Bazunu has not done anything wrong so far. He's made some great saves in the past. He really only had to... That was like the only thing that happened that game. Was that chance. And again, that's another thing to talk about. The defence has been pretty solid. How many chances have teams had against us? Part, get for Tottenham and Leeds because we played a three at the back. Didn't work. The back four. United, two chances. Chelsea probably had maybe two chances well, maybe three uh, off memory. Right? Second half, they didn't have a sniff. And then against, the, and then against Leicester... No sniff. They had, I think, one chance for their goal. And then, again, Wolves maybe had two chances. That is a vast improvement over previous seasons. Previous seasons, we concede, and it's game over. 
there's no fight, there's no desire, that we don't improve, we don't make changes, we don't change system, we don't change anything, we suck. That is the difference. All our points have come from losing positions, but yet we're somehow the same. We're somehow the same team from last year. Sort it out. Seriously, get, a, get your fucking heads a wobble and realise, for fuck's sake, we made 10 signings. How many of those are youngsters? Basically all of them. You can't expect youngsters, even though they've been fucking brilliant, you can't expect them to just jump into the team and be proven Premier League quality. That's not going to happen. Bazunu's 20 years old. He's been good. He will improve. Livy is fucking 18. And he's been brilliant. But you, you didn't expect that, did you? But you're complaining about players not playing well. They're fucking 18, 19, 20. Give them time. They've already been good. They've proven they're good enough technically. Most of them have proven they're good enough just period. Give them time. They're still young. Like, that's what I don't understand about the fans at the moment. They're getting on Bazunu's back for no reason. The man's 20. He's literally played five prem games, six prem games. What, are you expecting him to be fucking David De Gea? Like, sort it out. Sort your expectations out, because it's getting ridiculous. The amount of people that come out of the woodwork after we lose one game, in a game where we've played well, and we should have at least got a point. Adam should have scored. He literally should have scored. Maybe even should have scored two. We should have got a point. We didn't. Shit happens. It happens sometimes. Sort it out. Why are we, why are we getting mad? Why are we getting angry? Why are we getting frustrated? Why, why, do, I, why do I see Ralph out? What am I seeing these things? What have they done wrong? Southampton are not a top 10 club. We haven't been for fucking years. So why are you expecting us to win every game? We're not City Liverpool. We don't need to win every game to have a chance to win uh, at the league. If we draw a game, it's fucking end of the world. If we lose a game, it's end of the world. It's not. We are Southampton. Expectations need to be realistic. The realistic expectation this season is mid-table. If we, if we have a good season, top 10. Not expecting us to win every game, even if the team's out of form, even if the team's not playing well, is ridiculous. Ridiculous. And that is the fucking problem. Why are you guys getting so agitated over a loss? We just beat Chelsea. We, we had a great game against United. The week before that, we beat Leicester. What do you want? What do you want? You need a realist, You need to change your expectations to be realistic. Because I'm getting really sick of this shit. But that's really all I'm going to say about it, because it's fucking... I was reading some of the comments on, on the South End Post, and it was pissing me off, to be quite frank with you. I was thinking how people can possibly think these, have these opinions about this, is, is outrageous. It is absolutely outrageous how you can criticise the players we've signed. You can criticise Ralph. This is the first season he's actually been a buy players, and we've had a decent, good, decently good start. I'm pretty impressed. The link-up play of attack is so much better. We are not creating chances from one dimension anymore. We can cross, we can dribble, we can one two, we can fucking ball over the top, back inside, back to fullbacks, one two. Like we can do so much now. We have such good midfield play as well. We're change people forgetting we're changing system. We're not playing four four two anymore. We're playing four three three, four two three one, and four four two. We are adapting. We're creating plans. Everyone complained about a B B B tactic. Now you've got a C tactic as well, but you're still complaining. What do you want? People complaining about a fo the 4 2 3 one wasn't working against Wolves. We changed it. He made subs. What are you complaining about? Sometimes we don't win. It's going to happen. Like, oh, sort your brain out. Seriously, it's getting ridiculous. But all I'm going to say is I am very excited to watch Southampton. I think we've got some great young talent. Honestly, Adozi came on and did some great dribbling. He created a few minor chances. And he's only played 20 minutes. Like, he's going to improve. Obviously, Levy is a big miss. But we've got Ainsley Maitland-Niles, if I could speak, coming in to not sort of replace him, but be another midfield role. I'm excited. I'm excited. For the first time since Komen, I'm genuinely excited about a team. And that's enough for me. The fact that I can see that we are going up. We're not going to be in a relegation battle, even though all the fucking bedwetters are out complaining that, oh, we're just going to be dragged in. It's the same team as last year. It's not. Sort your head out. Ah, <sighs> it's frustrating. But honestly, I'm excited to be a Southampton fan right now. And this is just one window, you know. There's, there's, there's still January. There will be the next summer, the next summer, the next summer. And it's not just we have good players and good manager. We have good recruitment. It looks like our youth academies are starting to spin up. It's looking positive as a whole club. But that's all I'm going to say. Um, because otherwise I'm just going to fucking rant for about half an hour about how fans don't just don't function. Um, I say we play well. Just didn't get the result, which is fair enough. Adam should have scored. 
fair enough. Um, but we move on. We move on. We've got we're playing well. We've got confidence. We've beat some good teams. We're going to have you know easier teams to play than Wolves. We're going to have hard teams to play than Wolves. It's going to be an up and down season. We're not consistent. New players, new coaching staff, new systems, multiple. It's going to take time. And they're young. They've got to take time. The chemistry's not there. Except, honestly, the only thing I can say is that Sellers and Belichick look like they've already got a great connection, a good partnership building. But the up front, it's still a bit iffy. You know, if you think about it, what's our strongest starting eleven? I do not believe Adam Armstrong is on our standard, st- strongest starting eleven. Alanusi isn't. Maybe Perot isn't as well, depending if Walker Peters play left, Tino right. We still have a lot of players that could easily make their name in the starting eleven. A doozy could be a fucking starter in two weeks and just take the role and just constantly be a starter. There's so many things that can change. But he's sticking with the players that know the system best or can that, that can adapt the best. Aribo is adapted fast. Uh, I'll be honest, don't know why Alan plays. Adams obviously is very good up front. And anyone who criticizes his game, fine, you can criticize him for missing that sitter. But he played fucking well. He did play well. He's a great target man now for us. And Adam Armstrong, he's played better this season in an unfamiliar role on the left. But again, will he be there all season? Probably not. He'll probably be number two striker, you know? So that's the thing. you got to just relax, take a second, realize there's a lot changing at the club, and it's not going to fucking magically fix overnight, okay? So take a breath, relax. We'll be fine. We are going to be fine. Our team's actually good. We have an actual defense, an actual attack, an actual midfield. Relax. That's all I'm going to say. I'm happy with Southampton, and I don't want to hear anyone complain about it. Um, yep, I'm going to do a preview for the next game. I've forgotten our opponent already. Brilliant. Um, it'll be up in a couple of days or something, like a couple of days before. And obviously I have predictions for the week up as well. And then obviously the live reaction to hopefully a win would be great. Um, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe if you want. It's up to you. Um, and I'll see you next time.